forging cyber, forging cyber security. Secure Ninja. Hi everyone, it's Andrew here from Secure Ninja TV. I'm here with Ben from Tenzig. We're going to talk a little bit about thick clients, thin clients, and zero clients. Now this concept of EDI is becoming more and more important in the security realm. Ben, would you mind telling us a little bit about the products you have here and how they're different, and specifically the security, how these improve security in the network? I'd be glad to. Okay, so a thick client is nothing more than a laptop, a PC, any number of those different devices that hosts your desktop locally to you. In other words, what that means, it has all the hardware, it has the hard drive, it has all the different things for it to do its uh, uh, job to present a desktop. The difference between a thin client and a thick client is that desktop can be, in a, in a thin client is hosted uh, by, by means of a virtual system. What that means is the actual operating system and where the video and all is originating is in some other location. It can be in this building, it can be in this room, it could be in the next building, it could be in the next city, it could be in the next state. Excellent, but so when we talk about thin clients, we realize we have a view into a desktop that's hosted somewhere else. The security can be nailed down in that other place. The system in the administrator has all the benefits of centralized security and it stops the user from inserting malware trojans or something yes, into the system. That's correct. When we talk about a thick client, a thin client, and a zero client, we all know that a thick client is kind of like a desktop PC, it can run a full operating system. Everything. It typically is everything. All the applications. Everything in there is in that box. Whatever you whatever work you intend to do, it lives on that box. And this box can also have persistent storage. Absolutely. Excellent. Where you where you store your where you store your anything and everything that you want to store on it. So for security, we are moving towards a thin client and a zero client. Can you briefly explain the difference between the two? In regards to security, if you have a need for security, then you want to go zero client because what that means is a zero client, and there's two kinds: there's open architecture and closed architecture. But the bottom line is, what a zero client is, it is a one protocol connection device. It, is, it has no persistent data whatsoever. What it does is very simple. The, it, it, it connects to a virtual machine that lives somewhere else. The virtual machine pushes video to it, which, which creates your screen, which creates this image on your screen. Uh, as you type, as you move your mouse, that data is transmitted back to wherever the virtual machine is to make the changes. As you type, as you say you're typing a, uh, a report, that report uh, is going back via universal data packets on a, uh, that's being converted by the USB, by moving the mouse, by typing on the keys and so forth. And that goes back. So it's, so it's, it's a dual communication. You know, it's sending you data and you're sending it data back. If you're storing something or if you're, uh, if you're moving data around then you open up something and you're, and you're moving something in there, that's not happening here on the zero client. That's happening in the other world uh, where it's secure. And what, what it really means is this. If, if you have zero clients deployed and, and you're extremely concerned about security, and say they, you have a person interested in doing espionage and so forth, and they're coming through cleaning. They say, well, I'm coming about here, and I'll just grab this zero client, and I'll just stick it in my, uh, in my, my bucket, bucket walk, out the, walk, out the, uh, walk out of the building with it, and they plug it in later, and they find out they got nothing, because nothing was, nothing was on it to begin with. It's the same relationship that, uh, that you like a, a, a direct TV receiver. Uh, it's that receiver really is nothing more than a re receiving point and even that even that receiver has the ability where you have to you click on it to make it make changes where it's going but the receiver itself is only passing that video stream to your television set but the data there's no data on that receiver and the other parts are the uh, that increase the security of the zero client itself is there's uh, uh, copper and fiber drops that, that the connectivity, in other words, when you connect to the zero client, you've got to connect a cable to it. 
that cable would be copper or fiber. The copper being Cat 6, and the fiber being uh, just transmitting light. The idea is they can't put a coupler around it and uh, pick up the uh, EMF that emits, and they, they've had people being able to reproduce the actual video coming by, by capturing that. So this can be made very, very secure. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for that excellent explanation then. It was a pleasure meeting you. You are certainly welcome. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. We have a lot more content coming from Technet Cyber. I'm Andrew Howard from Secure Ninja TV. We'll see you back soon.